Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and you're watching the review of Okitel A28 smartwatch. Inside the box you'll find the smartwatch. This one comes with a heart rate sensor. You'll also find the user guide, data cable and charging dock. This is the Okitel A28 smartwatch that is powered by the MediaTek MTK2502 chipset and it's using the Bluetooth 4.0 technology. This nice looking watch is compatible with iOS and Android platforms. It has got a stainless steel body and sports a 1.5 inch IPS screen with 240 by 240 pixels resolution. It does come with a factory fitted screen guard as you can see. Okitel A28 smartwatch has got this rectangular dial and the screen is almost in line with the frame. As you can see here, the watch strap is made up of genuine leather. Now this watch comes with 128 MB RAM and 32 MB ROM. The power slash menu button is placed on the right side. This is the speaker out vent. This is the rear side. This is the heart rate sensor and here are the charging points. You need to attach this watch to the charging dock and plug in the charger into this micro USB port. There is a 250 mAh built-in battery that takes about less than 2 hours to fully charge. This watch is available in silver and gold color options. Let's power on this device. And here is the default clock. Tap and hold it for some time and you can change the watch face. There are few watch faces available and no options to download. This one looks a bit different but I'm going to switch back to the original one that looks the best. This is Java based and here are the different menu options. Phone book, dialer, call logs, messaging, find my device, alarm, calendar, BT music, remote capture, BT connection, file manager. There's built in pedometer, sleep monitor, sedentary reminder, heart rate, there's built in heart rate sensor, sound recorder, calculator, themes, settings and Yahoo weather. Tap quick response, you'll get the QR code and then scan this code using your mobile phone. You get the URL, you'll need to download the software, I'm going to use the Android platform and uh, this is the APK that's being downloaded. Install it and give notification access to the MediaTek smart device and then use the application to connect to the smartwatch A28. The watch is connected and here are some of the notifications. You can select the themes, it will change the background wallpaper for the menu. Touch is smooth and responsive, color reproduction and viewing angles are also good. There is built in heart rate sensor, this is the sensor on the rear side. It takes few seconds to get the heart rate. To use pedometer, you will need to enable it. All these datas are stored on the smartwatch and not on the smartphone. If you want to monitor your sleep, again you will need to enable it, start it and then stop it when needed. There is built-in microphone and loudspeaker. You can receive and make calls using this smartwatch. I'm going to dial this number. The loudspeaker volume is low but it's audible. In settings you'll find many other options. There is display option, you can set up the display as per your need. And there is the motion option. You can enable wake up gesture. This will automatically switch on the screen when you are twisting your wrist to read the time. This is how it works. This watch supports many other languages. If you go to international, you can find the language option. Here are the different languages supported. There is built-in file manager and you can see there is 3.4 MB space available. The A28 smartwatch weight is 49 grams and it is about 13.12 mm thick. The stainless steel body, the design and the leather strap gives a very premium look to the Ogitel A28 smartwatch. There is built-in microphone and loudspeaker. You can receive and make calls though the sound output is uh, pretty low. Build quality screen and the touch response is good. Battery backup is okay, not really that great. It can last up to 24 hours with minimal options. It is a good buy for the price tag of $1.57.